Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm the designer and architect of the BI tools within Maximo. And today I'm very excited to show you some of the new capabilities of the 7.6 release in Maximo related to business intelligence. The demo today is going to focus on the KPI Manager application and the new features that we've enabled. The KPI Manager application is intended for an administrator or developer, the individual who's maintaining the KPIs throughout the whole organization. So what I've done is I've signed into Maximo as our administrator, Mike Wilson. And I want to start out by going actually to the KPI template application. This is an application that enables us to create individual KPI records in mass. There was a prior demonstration on this where I went through this in detail. But what I want to highlight here is taking our KPI template and generating our individual KPI records. Before I do that, I just want to review what this KPI is doing. It's a contracts compliance PO. And basically what the premise is, for all the POs that I'm purchasing, I want to make sure that I'm purchasing them on a contract. And the higher the level or the higher the value of the line items, I want to make especially sure that they are purchased on a contract. So let me generate my individual KPIs, and I had four that we created for my 1004 template, and I could name that template whatever I wanted. But let me kind of come over here and now go to our KPI Manager application. If I do a filter on the template, I'm going to see the individual KPIs that I created. Well, let's focus on this one. This is the most highest value PO lines. So again, what I'm saying is if a PO line cost is between $5,000 and $10,000, my goal is that 99% of those will be purchased on a contract. Well, I have some base information that I have had um, in the initial KPI manager applications, but I want to highlight what's new. Well, notice over here the is public flag is not checked. In prior releases of Maximo, if that flag was checked, it meant that everyone had access to it because everyone is a member of the Everyone Security Group. Well, in this case, many people should not see this KPI. It's really relevant to our purchasing department. It's relevant to some managers. So let's give security to the applicable security groups. I want to give it to the purchasing security group. Maybe I want to give it to the ops manager security group. Oops, did I select him? There he goes. And, you know, I'll give it um, access to Max Admin. So again, you're defining which individuals this KPI should be visible to. And we're going to see that in the KPI Viewer application. So it's very important that we now have the ability to set the security levels. Another item that we have is being able to say, you know, what is this PO and what, or excuse me, what is this PO KPI and why is it important? Well, this KPI shows the percentage of PO lines purchased to contract. We need to minimize off contract purchasing to maximize or maximize our purchasing oops what a terrible speller I am purchasing value and you could go on and on and on and talk about that and how important it is to your business and then why we want to do that is again someone may not look at this KPI every day and people are very very busy it's difficult to remember everything so if you put the information in the long description they can see it when they need to see it and it'll minimize those phone calls that you may receive trying to understand you know how is this KPI calculated you've got to dig through your notes and figure it out so you put it in there and it's always available to people the other major new enhancement to the KPI Manager application is comm logs. If I wanted to communicate on this KPI with other people, I have the ability to create a communication log here. It can be emailed out to whoever I send, but also the information is here as a repository. So as people collaborate and work together, they're going to see the information there. And then the last item I want to highlight is the scheduling capability. Previously, we had one way that we could schedule a KPI, and it was done on the cron task. 
all KPIs were scheduled at the same time. So whether you had a work order KPI that you wanted to look at every single day, or in this case, a PO contract compliance, maybe I only need to look at it once a quarter, it really wasn't um, consistent, it, or it didn't really make business sense for many of our clients. So now what we have is the ability to schedule a KPI at whatever interval that you deem is applicable. I simply select schedule KPI and then I could pick the individual time or day of the week that I needed to. These are all created from the cron task, the KPI cron task, so you just go in there and like any other cron task, create an individual instance that you associate to your KPI. The other thing I might need to do is maybe I want all of these KPIs to be scheduled at the same time. Well, you can do that from the list tab and let's grab that individual uh, once a week on Sunday and we'll schedule them all at that time. I can do that another way by let's assume and I had a work order KPI. Now I want to again add schedules for these guys but it's more important that these are executed every day so I'm going to take this again one that I've created every single day and you can set them up at whatever time interval you need. So the last item I want to highlight for the KPI Manager application is how do we manage this information? I've added these schedules. How do I know what schedule and what KPI, all this type of information? Well, this is a part I love because you know we can easily create an individual report. We'll utilize our new ad hoc reporting tool in 7.6. I've created a very simple report object structure here records from our KPI main table and also our KPI schedule. I can, you know, streamline this, use the values that are there by default, come over to my KPI schedule, um, just bring in the schedule and cron task ID. I actually don't really need that. I'm just going to bring in my cron task uh, instance name, make it really simple. Let me come on over here to the format tab. Maybe I want to do some grouping and let me just do it by KPI name click preview report and in a matter of minutes you can see oh my gosh this is what I have my KPIs you can see I've have some of them scheduled in my individual cron tasks some of them aren't scheduled and maybe I need to filter that out a little bit more but again it gives you that really quick information and in how you can manage how you have everything scheduled and you could also do that with the search fields you know maybe I want to see Okay, how many KPIs do I have executing it every single day? Boom, you can see that right away. So very, very powerful. And then before I leave, I just wanted to again show how we were able to, oops, I better clear that out so I can find my information. Wanted to highlight that scheduling piece that we showed. When I remember when I came over here and said that all these people have access to this PO contract compliance, well, let's sign out and then let's sign in as a member of our security or PO security group, Diane LeBerry, and let's go to her KPI viewer application. This shows all the KPIs that she has access to, and there's our PO contract compliance. So she is the individual has access to this, so she could interact with it on a regular basis. So I want to thank you very much for your time today. Again, I've highlighted at a very top level the new capabilities available in the KPI Manager app and tied them to our new KPI Viewer and new KPI Template. Thank you so much.